Hi, today I would like to share my year of thanks with you. This will help you be more creative, learn something new, and yes, be adventurous. And also, you will appreciate the people that are around you. Every year I do this to help inspire you because these people and these things I'm going to share with you have touched me from within. So let's get to it. I'm gonna share with you five goodies today. So number one, I would like to give thanks to the amazing macro photographers that have been on the macro chat live show. If you guys have not seen it, you got to. And also I wanna thank those who join us and chat with us and watch the replays. So let me share with you who has been on the show for 2020. Charles Needle, Thomas Shahan, James Fox, Monica Royale, and Mitchell Wu. And just to let you know a super secret, we're gonna have for 2021, starting off, Anne Belmont. So look out for her January 8th. It's gonna be a blast. Okay, so now for my books. I love to share with you books every single year. My first book is called Primal Branding, and it really is, I believe, made for business. But see, I like to take it to another level. One of the things that I really enjoy is pushing you out of your comfort zone so you can tell your own story. And when you read something like Primal Branding, it helps you think about your own self and what you really love, how you express yourself, the words that you say, the clothes that you wear, whatever. But it's about you and sharing yourself with the world with your photography. And what's gonna happen is you will stand out within the sea of photographers once you realize that it's okay to be yourself and to really express yourself. If you've watched this every single year, you know what I'm probably going to say, but I can't help it. Read The Untethered Soul. It is a perfect book for photographers. It pushes you out of your comfort zone so you can really focus on what you love and not let others mess with your mind. You will focus and you will get things done. Okay, so let's get on to number three. Number three is amazing. It's Grammarly. And yes, I know it's not a photography tool, but guess what? It is a tool that will help you write about your photography work. The more you write about your work, I do not like writing. That's why Grammarly is on my list this year because I actually paid for the paid version. And it has totally helped me to express myself in a nice way so you can understand me a little bit better because I cannot write. But you know what it really does? It helps you focus on your creations and really think about your photography because you're writing about it. Okay, so number four is awesome. This is where I like to talk about where to photograph that I've done in 2020. And it is for macro and landscape photographers. The first one we're gonna talk about is in, well, both of them are in California. So, we, so put on your bucket list, come to California because there's some really cool places. Landscapers go to Alabama Hills in Lone Pine, California. Oh my gosh, that's why they made tons of movies there westerns and all kinds of movies because you have some beautiful landscape it's just un it's just you get so excited so landscapers check that out i highly recommend you going there they still make commercials there by the way another great place to go but it really is only for spring is anza Barango. it's a desert here in southern california but when you want to talk about spring desert flower blooms whoo absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and there's a lot of cute little critters that hang inside these flowers and little places hidden so if you are a bug lover you will love this place too and the reason why also i wanted to give you these two is because as i'm taping this we are right in the middle of the covid pandemic and so both of these places are very large and you will have such a big place to photograph that you will do you won't be with tons of people so you do not have to worry about covid just go outside and take some fresh air and take your camera and enjoy the outdoors 
And of course, number five, yes, it's all about family and friends. But this year I wanna take a thank you, a big huge thank you, give thanks to actually Facebook. If some of you guys know that I really don't really dig Facebook that much, but I've really enjoyed being able to see my uncles and my aunts and my cousins and all kinds of, and family and my friends. I'm telling you, I get to see the behind the scenes of what they've been up to since we don't see them that much. And another one I'd like to say is Zoom. I have really appreciated what Zoom has done for me to really work with my wonderful, amazing Inner Circle members with Adventures of the F-Stop. If you don't know what that is, you can look down below and check more out on how you can work with me. So I hope this has really helped you and inspired you to really push you and be creative, step out of the comfort zone, get out a photograph and get on some social media and chat with your family and friends. So I'd like to wish you all a very wonderful Thanksgiving, even if you're not an American, it's okay. You are watching this and I wanna thank you so much for being part of my YouTube channel. And also if you're watching this on my blog post, I wanna thank you for hanging out there too. You guys are absolutely, absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right, step out of your comfort zone because you know why? Your thousand words does make a difference. All right, cheers. So number three, let's get on to number three. I love to, what are we talking about? Cause this, oh, 